In this video, we'll be going over how to use trigonometry to find the measure of an angle. So our problem is this. I drew this triangle and I measured angle A, and I wrote down the angle measure behind this piece of paper. So we'll check back on that later. But let's say we don't have a protractor at hand. We just have a ruler. So using our ruler, how can we find the measure of this angle? So first of all, we're going to have to measure all the sides. So we're going to use centimeters to be accurate. So the measure... Okay. So using our ruler, A comes out to be about 14, let me go, I mean 9.7 centimeters. B comes out to be 11.5. And C turns out to be 15. So now we have our side lengths. So what can we do now? Our job is trying to find the measure of angle A. So sine of A, we learned in the other video, was opposite over hypotenuse. So it's A over C, or in this case, it's going to be 9.7 over 15. So let's pull out our calculator. And let's see, 9.7 divided by 15 gives us 0.646666, about. So using this, we're going to take to find the angle that corresponds to this, we're going to hit second, the sine button. So that's going to give, looks like sine to the negative one, but it's inverse sine. Put in that number, and we're going to get that angle. So according to this, A equals 40.3, let's say, degrees. And make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. You do that by clicking the mode button and making sure that it is selected on degrees and not radians. So, According to our sine function, A equals 40.3 degrees. Let's do a check with our cosine function. So cosine of A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be B over C, or in this case, 11.5 over 15. Again, we'll pull out our calculator. We'll do 11.5 divided by 15, and we'll take the inverse, so hit second, cosine of this number. It gives us 39.9, so A according to the cosine function, equals 39.9 degrees. Now as a final test, we'll use our tangent function. So remember, tangent of A equals opposite over adjacent. So A over B, and in this case that's 9.7 over 11.5. So again, last time we put our calculator, 9.7 divided by 11.5. Take the second tangent of that, that's going to give us 40.1. So according to that, A equals 40.1 degrees. And as a quick note, when we take second sine, second cosine, or second tangent, that's going to give us the angle that if we take the tangent, let's say, of that angle, we're going to get 0.8434, which is what we got when we divide 9.7 over 11.5. So tangent and inverse tangent are inverse functions. And that's helpful because it helps us find the angle. So now we see that our answers are all around 40, a little bit of, you know, uh, error because of the measurements we took. But we'll flip over our paper, the true answer. The true answer is 40 degrees. So that's how you solve a right triangle if we don't have any of the angles.